most people think that um, TikTok is very silly and all those things. And I understand you. I mean, people are just like standing in front of their whatever they thought I'm tonight. Dude. Oh. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. My name is Mira, nice to meet you. So today's video is going to be about 10 ways to stay busy while you're at home. So these are like 10 things I think you can do while you're staying home during the season. Now I don't know where you are or what is currently happening, but for the rest of the world, there's currently anti-corona attacking and striking everywhere and making our lives miserable. My heart goes to each and every one who is currently struggling through this time and for those of you who have lost people through this I just want to say may their soul rest in perfect peace and I honestly pray that we all get out of this in one piece. So without saying too much I'm just going to give you some of the things you can do while you're social distancing or while you're in self-isolation or while you're quarantining like yeah this is something for all of you. So let's get right into the video because I'm talking too much as you can see right now. And oh, by the way, do not forget to subscribe. It's very necessary, it's very important. Thank you. So now point number one, decluttering and cleaning off your closet. And do not get me wrong, this is not just for the ladies, this is for the men as well, okay? This might sound very basic, but this is very therapeutic, okay, you guys? Like for instance, I go inside my room each time, I'm like, oh my god, I have so many clothes, I have so many clothes. But I do not have outfits. There's a difference between those two, like you can have clothes and not have outfits. There's certain things you've outgrown, there's certain things that do not fit your style anymore. There's certain things that do not look good or flattery on you anymore. But because you probably bought it for an expensive price, or because you think you've never worn it, you're keeping it in your closet, it shouldn't be done, sweetheart. Get that thing out of your room. Okay, I'm actually speaking to myself as well, okay, I need that advice. I'm terrible. I hold it too much. But you know what I mean, okay? If you do not get them out, then you're not motivated to improve upon your style. You're not, you're not motivated to um, try something new, okay? So by giving it out, you make room. Some of you have clothes that are like as old as 10 years. Now, if it's like a very good cloth, if it's something that fits your style even to date, then it's fine. But if you've had like if you've had something like 10 years and you know it's like all worn out and it's like something that doesn't suit you anymore, but because you like you bought it a long time ago and you still have like this attachment, which most of us always have, like that favorite thing that you just can't stop wearing, sweetheart, it's time for, for you to let it go. So if you want to improve upon your style, you have to let it go, okay? So best way I actually arrange my wardrobe is that I arrange my clothes according to colours. So I, I do them from nude to like very colorful and for instance my shirts I have like the parts of all white or blacks this makes um, finding clothes very easy and it also just like gives your wardrobe and your room the space it deserves basically all I'm trying to say is that during this time use it to clean around you guys clean your room you and you know the best part you don't even have to do it in one day okay you can start slow okay, okay moving on to point number two learn a new language and this is very simple there's so many of us who have been talking about learning languages for as long as I can remember. I am number one, okay? I've been talking about learning French and Spanish for as long as I can remember. Now, this is a good opportunity for you to be able to do that. You can simply download apps like Duolingo or even Babel. I think Babel Plus, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll write it here. And then learn different kinds of languages. Now, there are so many free apps out there, you guys. All you have to do is go to Play Store and then Put in the language you want to learn and you'll find so many of them and start learning. doesn't matter how old or young you are, you can still learn a language. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, okay? And what you have to do is, is that you learn or you don't. At least you try, right? So go ahead and download an app. Okay, wait, after you finish the video, go and download an app and start learning something new. So point number three is working on your plans. So I don't know about you, but there are like a lot of people out there who are like been planning to like start a business, who have been planning to like start something new. It could be like a new hobby or whatever. So for instance, if you're planning to start your own business, now is the perfect time to do your research. Okay, stay at home, do your research, how much you need for that business, your business plan, anything, okay? And for those of you who like who don't want to start a business, a new business, but want to like have a new hobby, you could learn how to make cocktails. Yeah, that's, I'm just giving you my secret right now, okay? I'm trying to learn how to make cocktails. You can learn how to um, weave, you can learn how to sew, you can learn how to stitch stuff, you can learn how to do your hair. This is a perfect time for you to learn new things, okay? Fine, then Corona season, we cannot go out, okay? But that hair still has to look good. Watch some videos, make 
learn how to do your hair learn how to do certain things work on that plan that you've been trying to do like what, what are the disadvantages of that plan what are the advantages what do you think you could lose what do you think you could gain everything do every research this is the perfect time this is the best time maybe because of the other job you've been doing you've not been able to do this now is the time if you've been planning on starting a youtube video for as long as you remember now is the perfect time to start that channel all i'm saying is that there's now or never only and you have nothing to do start now okay let's move on to point number four point number four is read a book now even though this sounds very basic but let's be honest you probably have not been reading for a while now okay so i used to be one of those people who liked reading and i became one of those people who didn't like reading anymore because you know life happens but this whole thing has like pushed me back to reading a bit now what i've done for myself is that instead of not reading at all lately each time i go to bed i read so instead of just going to bed and reading you can either read the first thing in the morning after you wake up and pray you can read or you can do it last thing in the evening to make sure that we actually um push this my kids and i have come up with a plan where we read for an hour each day so we set a timer for an hour we both take different books and then we read until like an hour so if you finish within that hour like if like it's time and then you still feel like reading more awesome if it's time and you feel like okay i'm done for the day perfect not everyone likes reading so you might not be able to do one hour as a goal and for such people you can start with 20 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes and then gradually build your way through now some of these books and you don't even have to start reading like the hard stuff okay start slow and gradually build yourself if you're someone who doesn't have books and you have to read on your phone you can uh, download whatpad they have so many amazing stories and during the time you're reading even though you might need wi-fi and all those things you can actually try and then turn off the data for most of your app to make sure you don't get any distraction distractions to make sure you don't get any distractions and read I promise you, you will thank yourself later. Start with 10 minutes even if you have to. Okay, if the book is good enough, it will pull you in, it will drag you in. Now, before I go any further, let me know in the comment section if you'd want me to um, give you a recommendation of certain books. Certain books that have changed my life within a couple of years and I would really love to share them with you. So let me know in the comment section if you would like me to do a video recommending some of these books to you and I'll definitely get right into it. Okay, so point number five, exercise yes okay so i kind of feel some type of way talking about this particular one because i don't exercise as much as i should i honestly do not exercise but exercise is very good especially for this season that we are currently in even though exercising doesn't stop you from getting the virus or anything of that sort but having a good immune system helps fight the virus so by exercising actually goes a long way to help you now another thing is that you're always at home you guys you're eating all the time i'm not gonna lie you guys yesterday i ate more than eight times I feel like each time I walk into the kitchen, the first thing I go to is a fridge. I open and then because it's fully stocked, I end up picking something out. So this is the perfect time to start exercising if you've not been doing it. You can download some apps, some free apps on App Store or Google Gold Store. You can go to YouTube and watch videos for exercising and just work on it. It doesn't have to do it doesn't have to be anything serious, okay? Basic stuff, just work out. I mean, imagine, okay, if you're someone who has been running away from exercise, okay, and now you get to do it, if you're lucky, it becomes a part of you, it becomes a daily routine. So even when all this is over, you probably still be exercising, which is good for you, you know. One of us is actually the same as exercise as yoga. For those of you who have been wondering what I do, I do yoga. Even though I've been very lazy lately, I love yoga. Yoga is amazing. And there are a couple of yoga apps and videos that you can watch to help yourself. Go up to YouTube, search for yoga. You will find so many videos, you guys. So many videos and for ladies okay for men as well apart from the fact that it is like a very good exercise it teaches you breathing exercises it makes you flexible it helps you to sleep well at night so if you're someone who's like currently battling depression or you cannot stand it for, uh, the idea of being locked in yoga is perfect for you okay it will help you feel at ease and it will help you sleep better if you're someone who doesn't like doing all this um, vigorous exercises and all those things yoga is perfect for you it feels like a bushy kind of exercise like you, you, you feel like okay i'm not doing anything but you are sis try yoga and come back and tell me how you felt let's do let's do our part in this okay and by the way i'll be adding some bonuses at the end of it so stay tuned at the end so point number seven is organizing and decluttering your makeup products washing your makeup brushes now at this point is so very important because you guys there's some of you who do not wash your makeup brushes this is not for the men guys i'm coming to you okay actually guys as well all your shaving balms, all your shaving creams that has been like lying around for like years, clean them. Now some of you who do not wash your makeup brushes, you guys, you do not wash your makeup brushes, you do not clean your makeup products. And there's some of you who have makeup products that are as old as three years, four years, seven years. They've expired. Sis, why are you still using it? The original list for this was six months. Okay, I'm actually guilty of that one too. It's my mascara. But I'm just saying, okay, 
declutter okay this is the perfect time to wash your makeup brushes it's the perfect time to wash your beauty blenders make room for new products now if it's i mean i get it if it's working for you why should you change it but sis like sis if you can change it okay if you're still wondering why you have bad skin it's probably why all those dirty beauty blenders you've been hiding under that desk take them out and clean them okay even your makeup application will become better afterwards being at home all the time can make you feel like um, you know you're losing it so instead of just like lying in bed in your pajamas and feeling or uh, eating and getting fat get your ass up and clean everywhere okay guys let's move on to point number eight now point number eight is self-care and so last year I was never a skincare person you guys part of the reason was because i had good skin my skin was always flawless i didn't see why i should do it until last year when i started doing makeup very like, frequently i started like getting all these whatever so now i like skincare and this is for some of you who do not know what their skin type is and all those things this is a perfect time for you to learn all those things okay research your skin type the skincare that works for you and what you should do see even if it means practicing the 10 step korean routine or whatever this is a good time okay at least take 30 minutes out of your daily activity just dedicated to skincare and self-care okay paint your nails do your hair whatever rocks your boat so point number nine is netflix and chill netflix and okay so by most of you that's probably what you do for fun so it's fine but netflix and chill you guys this is the perfect way to unwind i always opt for happy things and since the news and everything actually makes me sad usually i watch happy things and it has helped me in so many ways so if you're someone who's like feeling sad and depressed and everything this is the perfect time to watch very funny things my go-to tv shows are the big bang theory and the golden girls let me know in the comment section if you want me to do like a movie recommendation as well it doesn't have to be netflix movies but just movies in general and tv shows i love 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 that topic so i can get you hooked up on some of them but yeah this is the perfect time for you to like watch movies and watch tv shows watch happy things okay if you're someone who likes um, horror movies feel free to watch that as well watch anything that makes you happy you have nowhere to go okay yes make a timetable do things exercise um you can like, tell your closet whatever but at the end of the day make time to watch a movie as well it won't kill you okay unless you're someone who actually hates movies then okay i can help but if you do not watch a TV show, I'm currently watching Love is Blind and I'm hooked. That show is interesting. How, how why did it take me so long to watch it? I'm just saying, okay, if this hadn't happened, I probably would have never watched it. But I'm watching it now and it's pretty good. So what I'm trying to say is that explore, okay, watch different things. Let me know, okay? Watch things, okay. Love is blind is good by the way. Whoever thought came up with that idea was a genius. Why am I? Mira, stay on topic. I think I'm debating right now, but it's fine. It's fine, okay? Because it's a good show. Okay, shut up. Continue. Okay, moving on to point number 10. Like I said, I'm going to be adding the three more to these ones because, you know, I'm nice and I, I had more than 10. I just wanted us to have a round figure. Okay, so point number 10, eat healthy. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't comfortable about giving you this particular point because I had like advantages and disadvantages of it. And here's the thing, okay? You want your immune system to be strong. You want to be as healthy as you can. So that just in case, God forbid, it's not going to happen. Just in case something happens, your immune system will be able to help you fight this. So in as much as you're exercising, you should probably be eating healthy as well. But the problem I have with this point is the fact that if you're on a lockdown, if you're like social isolating, when you're stocking up, you're stocking up non perishable goods such as like uh, tin tomatoes and um, indomie and um, what do I know? You don't want to stock up things like fresh fruits or whatever that will like get spots after like a week or so i don't know about you guys but me i'm not even going out to get groceries like i've stocked up and i'm not going out so eating healthy might be very difficult at this time if you are someone who can eat healthy eat healthy i'm not gonna sit here and say i eat healthy i don't um, unfortunately i'm still trying to eat healthy and i'm not gonna lie it's hard it's not easy okay i have mad respect for people who eat healthy so if you if you think you're someone who can actually eat healthy at this time sweetheart go for it it's a plus and it helps but if you can't eat healthy at this time try your best to not eat too much junk and if you do please try your best to exercise as often as you can okay now my bonus tip bonus tip number one you guys make take tuck videos <laughs> now i know i know i know you're rolling your eyes and it's fine okay most people think that um tiktok is very silly and all those things and i understand you i mean People are just like standing in front of their whatever they're doing all sort of stupid things. But what you guys don't realize is that 
TikTok is actually a very good form of exercise as well. Dancing is a, an excellent form of exercise, okay? And most of these dances are not easy to get. So if you're someone like me who doesn't know how to dance, you're like practicing like for a very long time to get that particular one dance. And while you're doing that, you are actually exercising. And if you are re-saying what other people are saying, like uh, doing a voiceover and whatever, it's also good, a good memory trick because you are like forced to memorize things, which means you're keeping your mind busy and active. I feel like TikTok is here to stay, first of all, okay? And if you're bored, the best place to go is TikTok, okay? TikTok, my friend, in as much as you might think that, okay, TikTok is silly and all that, you don't have to post them, just do them, okay? If you, if you have no shame like me, then definitely post them. But if you have shame, it's fine. Keep them somewhere, okay? It's actually a reminder of a time in your life. I'm just saying, TikToking is a good way, sweetie, you gotta do it. I have a feeling that very soon TikTok would like be the number one place for people to find influencers and all that. So you might actually use this opportunity to build that place as well, especially if you're a content creator. I'm just saying, okay? So do not come for me in the comment section. TikTok is actually good and I stand by my word. Now for content creators as well, this thing is like a huge roadblock, for, especially for Instagram influencers. You don't go out and take pictures as often as you used to. So another point I want to add is that instead of like just leaving your Instagram like that, which we all know that Instagram tries on you posting often, even though it might be hard, do not be afraid to take pictures at home. Okay? Yes, your spaces might be small, your place might not be as beautiful as should be but you can just like find your own corner in the house and take pictures that no one will judge you and the best part of that if you feel like it might ruin your feed after this you can simply acquire them or delete them and continue with your perfect content creation the next one is call your friends and family so this is another perfect time for you to be able to call your friends and family and you're all at home you're probably all bored i don't know about other people but me my mom is the one who actually takes me out of all this whenever i'm sad my mom calls me she makes me feel better so you can also call your mom call your family and friends call your grandmothers and just like have a good time so this point is for people who love fashion this is a perfect time to play dress up match them outfits okay so i've been doing this thing lately where i just wake up and i match my outfits like i wear this and i'm like okay this goes with this this goes with that match them wear them see what fits see what doesn't fit so actually i think this point should have been part of the big cloud friend but you get you get what i mean don't wake up in the morning and just like sit in your pajamas all day not take your bath and just like be sluggish all the time you guys that is the recipe for depression i'm just saying okay that is the fastest road to depression so do not be that person when you wake up in the morning after you've done all these things and you feel like okay your place is all clean you have nothing else to do wake up make up show up on social media like it's your job now this is the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching this video do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and i'll see you in my next video and let me know in the comment section what you would like me to do next seriously guys you should subscribe like why are you not subscribing? Just tell me. Let me know if you like my breaks. Okay, I, I sound very vain right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.